I tested all 10 Formula 1 cars on the new Las Vegas track to find out which car has the highest top speed. Let's get into it. First off, starting off with the Williams, let's see what we can do. Don't think the launch matters that much, so let's we'll keep doing that. DRS activated. I'm gonna go all the way up to the wall. 336, 337, 338, 338. Almost 339. So uh, that's our first score on the board. Right, next up we have the Alpha Tauri. Obviously with the Honda engine, let's see what it can do. Not the greatest of launches. DRS. Uh, this strip is amazing by the way. Shame it's the only good thing about this track. Because I absolutely hate the layout. It's, it's so bad. 337 topping up no more than 337 so one kph lower than the williams to be honest it's kind of expected because it's got the honda engine but we all know the williams in real life is a rocket ship in the straights because it has zero downforce so pretty realistic i'd say let's move on to the next car right boys as you can see the next car is the Haas. so let's give it a go All the way through the gears. Now, is it going to be slower or faster than the Alpha Tauri? Alpha Tauri got 337 kph. 336, 337, 338. Alright, so it's actually the same as the Williams. So one more than the Alpha Tauri. And next up, we have the big boy Aston Martin. Obviously, we've seen Alonso do some incredible things in this car. That was a shit start, but let's see how incredible the top speed is then. I don't expect this to be very high, to be honest. Quite a draggy car in real life. I think, anyway. We go revving out the engine. 337 that was, I think. Just about, so the same as the Alpha Tauri, but probably maybe like 0.5 of a kph slower, I'd say. All right, so we've got the Alfa Romeo next, and I actually don't know how fast it's going to be relative to the others. So let's have a look then. Down the beautiful strip. Three two six, three two seven, three three seven. So tied with the Alpha Tauri and the Aston Martin. Then interesting. All right, then people, we've got the McLaren next. I expect this to be quite a draggy car. So let's see. I feel like the launches have changed from the beta as well. Seems like half throttle isn't the way to go anymore. In time trial anyway that is. But let's check the top speed. Two, three, five, six. Three, three, seven. Three, three, seven. So it's tied with the Alfa Romeo, Aston Martin and Alfa Tauri. But it did take longer to get there. So I would rank it probably one lower, I'd have to say. Right, boys, Aston, Mo uh, Aston Martin, Alpine up next. What am I talking about? Uh, I expect this one to be high on this, probably second fastest behind Red Bull, if I had to guess. Still dodgy on the launches. Uh, 
and straighten up as much as we can. 339, 340. 341 it touched. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it touched 341 kph. I'm just going to double check the setup because they're supposed to be unbalanced. I know the default for this track is increased top speed, but for the sake of this video, I'm doing it unbalanced. It is unbalanced. It's just that fast in a straight line. All right, we're in Mercedes now. I expect this to be pretty draggy as well, maybe... 337 just about probably the same as the McLaren Yet again a horrible launch but what can you do? Let's see Mercedes Three two six three two seven Oh! 338! That's actually surprised me. I know it's only one more than my guess, but still. Every kilometer makes a difference. Alright, we're with the team in red now. Scuderia Ferrari. To be honest, I expect this, I expect this to be quite high up on the list. Because I think their engine is pretty good. If I'm not mistaken, so let's give it a go. That's probably one of my better launches so far, but still not the greatest. Um, straight. I'm not sure if the straight is longer than back here. Alright, 338. 339. 339. That's about where I, where I would expect it to be, to be honest. A respectable top speed. Alright, we've made it to the final car on the list. The moment you've all been waiting for. The double or triple DRS or whatever you want to call it. Red Bull Racing Honda? I don't even know if it's still Honda, is it? I don't know. Red Bull powertrains. Let's see what you've got. We've got the best launch with it. Let's see what I can do. They're flying. Absolutely flying. Already. 340. Come on, 341. Wow. I don't know. Did I? I must have taken a different line. I don't think I did. I think the Alpine is the quickest. On a balanced setup. I reckon on. Zero zero wings and fifty fifty wings. You know the drag will be different, but we're doing strictly balanced to keep it balanced. And the Alpines come out on top. But if you did enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments below. We've got plenty of F one twenty three content coming, anyways. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.